The procedure she will be undergoing in the next week or so, uh, uh, there are two procedures. First is uh, called a titanium crani cranioplasty. And I know some of you, uh, if not all of you, will have seen a video that we, we released explaining so some of that. This is very simply speaking, and uh, Stefan will be able to um, address any details that anybody wishes to, to ask us. But very simply speaking, this is putting a titanium plate, um, a, a specially made, a custom made titanium plate over the deficit in her skull, which is uh, of this sort of size in, in the uh, left, hand, uh, left hand side of her skull. Clearly, this is primarily to offer physical protection uh, uh, to her brain in the same way as a normal skull. Uh, was uh, wood. Um, she does still have the um, portion of skull that was removed in Pakistan in the initial surgery implanted in uh, her abdomen, uh, but the surgeons in consultation with uh, Malala have um, decided that the fitting of a titanium plate is a better uh, long-term procedure than trying to re-implant uh, re this bone after such a long period of time, and that's um, at least partly due to the fact that some of this bone will have resorbed so the bone won't be as big as it was. Um, so instead of replanting the bone, the bone will be uh, removed from under the skin in her s stomach uh, and um, cleaned up and sterilised and given to Malala, who wishes to keep it for, uh, for uh, as a, a memory, I guess. The second part of the procedure she'll be undergoing is um, a cochlear implant. Uh, the reason for this is that the passage of the bullet uh, destroyed both uh, her ear drum and the middle ear and the tiny bones within the middle ear that, that um, are essential to hearing. Uh, so Malala is currently profoundly uh, or completely deaf in her left ear. So after the plate has been fitted, um, the, uh, one of the um, ear specialist surgeons will fit the cochlear implant. Um, both of these procedures normally would take about 90 minutes. Um, Clearly, particularly the cochlear implant may be surgically more difficult than normal because uh, the surgeon will have to work around the um, plate and the d damaged anatomy from the bullet and indeed previous surgery. Uh, we're not envisaging any significant difficulties. As I say, normally we would um, expect each procedure to take about 90 minutes. It may take a little longer due, due to some of the uh, anatomical um, difficulties of previous surgery and previous injuries.